hey guys welcome to my youtube channel it's me again and today i am driving from work i'm heading home and i just want to show you the texan roads you know as you can see there's no much traffic this morning because it's on a sunday and um, so that explains so i just want to give you an overview of Texas roads and a little history of uh, about it and how it's maintained and who builds them etc etc so as you can tell I am driving on the left side of the road because it's a left side um, drive kind of a country so um, Texas boasts of an extensive road network that covers a vast distance that um kind of connects cities towns rural areas um throughout the state of texas and so here are a few details and information about the texas texan roads you know so the Interstate highways, so the Texas is served by a comprehensive system of interstate highways, including major routes like I-10, I-20, I-35. If you ask somebody who's been to Texas, I-35 is very famous. It's famous for its massive traffic. And so by interstate, these are highways that connect states to states. So, interstate. So, um, these highways transverse the state, providing crucial east to west, north to south connection. And they facilitate long distance travel, interstate commerce, and serve as important transportation corridors for both passengers and commercial cars. So, in most cases, like if you drive during the week, you're gonna come across big trucks like 18 wheeler trucks and you know those big transportation cars transporting goods from state to state or even within the states and so the u.s highway system in texas includes several major roads that connect cities towns within the state and also providing links to neighboring states like arkansas new mexico louisiana you know and so um, examples, the uh, examples of those uh, highways that connects um, Texas with major routes, they include US 59, US 77, US 290, US 83, US 87. So you find that these highways offer alternative routes to the interstate systems serving as a vital transportation arteries for regional and local travel so i mean i love checks and roads they are really well built and they kind of make it easy to drive around because then they have so many like um what do you call them uh you know those roads besides the main highway basically i love the roads in general so um we also have the farm and ranch roads sometimes you call them fm roads farm to market so texas is known for its network of farm to market and ranch to market roads in short rm roads these roads denoted by fm or RM followed by a number. Primarily, they, they serve rural areas, connecting agricultural regions, ranches, and small communities. So you find that FM and RM roads are vital for farmers, ranches, and local residents, providing access to market, schools, and services. So you guys need to give it a try and travel to Texas and enjoy this magnificent road system you know and then we have the famous toll roads you know because of how busy 
major Dallas is, major towns are, we have the toll roads that kind of have reduced. They're not busy as such, but you you then have to pay to use those toll roads. So to address the increasing traffic congestion in urban areas, Texas had to develop an extensive toll road system. I mean, many you all have you already know what tolls are. Many countries have it in Africa, like Nairobi, I mean Kenya, and even Nigeria or South Africa. Those major countries in Africa, they do have toll roads. So, in Texas, toll roads such as Central Texas Turnpike System, and then we have No Texas Tollway Authority, famously known as NTTA and the Harris County Toll Road Authority, which provide faster and less congested routes, though they require payment of tolls. You have to pay, girl. You know, that these roads offer an alternative to free highways and help manage high traffic flow in high demand areas. Like if you're traveling to Dallas, definitely you tend to experience high volume of traffic because you're driving to the main city so to avoid the traffic you may want to use the tollway but then you have to pay so you can either wait for the bill to be mailed to your address or you can buy the you know toll tag which you tend to um you may want to uh you know like add some money every month on your tag by calling them or even making the transactions online. And then there's these amazing thing, things about the Texas roads. There's the scenic byways. Texas is a home to several designated scenic byways that showcase the state natural beauty and cultural heritage. So these roads such as the Big Bend Scenic Loop in West Texas, the Guadalupe Mountain Trails or the Ladybird Johnson Wildflower Central Loop offer breathtaking views, access to state parks, historical sites, and opportunities for outdoor recreation. And lastly, the construction and expansion due to Texas rapid population growth, you will tend to see an increased transportation needs. So they always has there's always been an ongoing construction and expansion projects um, throughout the state. So these projects aim to improve the existing roads, build new highways and lanes, and enhance infrastructure to accommodate the growing population and support economic development. If you check on the news, you realize that there are so many people moving to Texas, especially from California. And then you also tend to see that there are so many companies that are moving to Texas. They Some of them are moving to Dallas region, the DFW region. Some are moving to Austin. So there's high influx of population to Texas. And then, so it's worth noting that the road condition and traffic volumes can vary across Texas. And so... With urban areas experiencing more congestion during peak hours, so the Texas Department of um, Transportation is responsible for maintaining, managing the state roads network and ensuring the safety and efficient travel for the residents and visitors alike. And that's it for today, guys. So if you like this video, Please subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell for more amazing YouTube videos. Other than that, bye-bye. I'll be driving to Shreveport today. So enjoy this video and check it out for the next amazing video about, you know, traveling and all and so many amazing stuff if you have any suggestion leave a comment uh down below on the comment section thank you bye bye